vote counting for the Senate is continuing, and preference deals mean even a tiny percentage of the popular vote can influence the outcome. The Senate will remain under the control of Labour and their Greens until mid-2014 and, after that it appears an assortment of parties will play a key role in what Tony Abbott can achieve. In a surprise result, former rugby league player Glenn Lazarus appears to have claimed the Queensland Senate seat for the Palmer United Party pup, which is also likely to be represented by Jackie Lambie in Tasmania. The Australian Motoring Enthusiasts Party's Ricky Muir could secure a Senate spot in Victoria, while the Australian Sports Party may pick up a seat in Western Australia. West Australian Labor Senator Mark Bishop says the sports party result would come in spite of the party only attracting a small amount of the primary vote. I think the sports party had 225 primary votes and a quota is something in the order of 123,000 votes in Western Australia so, to do that is a remarkable outcome, he said. But that is the system, everyone knows that and the Senate is a process distribution of preferences. Independent Nick Xenophon and their Greens Sarah Henson Young are likely to retain their seats in South Australia, where family first Bob Day also appears to have claimed a seat.